Have you ever caught yourself wondering if there's actually a safe way to make your penis bigger? Or why on earth your urine sometimes sprays in all directions like a rogue garden hose? You're not alone. I'm Dr. Georgia, a urology and men's health expert. And today, we're diving into some of the most common, often unspoken questions men ask me. This is part of my Ask Me Anything series where I give you real science-backed answers to the things most guys are too shy to say out loud. But first, please like the video. The more people like it, the more YouTube will distribute it to people who don't have access to doctors or hospitals. Also, please share the video with your friends and family. Many lives can be saved with your help, so share it. Let's get started with the first question. I'm 24 and I find myself getting stuck in my head during sex. I worry too much about staying hard and that anxiety makes me lose my erection. I'm dating, but this keeps happening and I don't want it to keep ruining things. First of all, thank you for being brave enough to ask this because it's so much more common than you think. Psychogenic erectile dysfunction, erection problems caused by overthinking or anxiety is extremely common in young men. Erections can shift depending on stress levels, alcohol, emotional connection, temperature, and more. The first time it happens, it's shocking. The second time, you start dreading it. And before you know it, you're stuck in a cycle of anxiety, tension, and pressure. Here's what often happens. You're so focused on not losing your erection that you disconnect from your body. You're no longer in the moment. You're analyzing it like an exam. That mental overload actually shuts down the very thing you're trying to hold on to. Now, the good news is this cycle can absolutely be reversed. If you're under 40 and experiencing frequent erectile difficulties, it's still important to see your primary care doctor or a urologist. Even in younger men, around 87% of ED cases can be tied to an underlying medical issue like early cardiovascular disease. The arteries in the penis are smaller than the ones in the heart, so sometimes erection issues are the very first sign something deeper is happening. That said, for many young men, the root is psychological. Working with a therapist who specializes in sexual performance anxiety can be a game changer. There are also practical strategies. For example, if you're in a trusting relationship, try removing the pressure around penetration. Focus on touch, connection, and intimacy without forcing performance. As confidence builds, gradually reintroduce stimulation. You can also talk with your doctor about trying a low-dose erection medication like Tadalafil. These don't create arousal, but they can make it easier to stay firm while you rebuild confidence. Sometimes a short course of support like this helps break the cycle for good. Now on to a question I hear constantly. Are the men in the adult industry naturally that big or are they using enhancements, surgery, pills, or tricks? Great question. First off, remember, the adult entertainment industry specifically selects men with naturally larger features. On top of that, camera angles, lighting, and positioning exaggerate what you see. The average erect penis length worldwide is about 5.44 inches. Roughly 99.7% of men fall under 7.2 inches. So if you're seeing extremes online, that's exactly what they are, extremes. That said, some performers do use aids. For girth, some turn to dermal fillers. For length, traction devices used consistently can create mild gains over time. Vacuum pumps are sometimes used right before filming to temporarily enhance engorgement. And yes, medications like sildenafil or tadalafil or even penile injections may be used to sustain long-lasting erections on camera. Some men in the industry even have penile implants, not for size, but to treat erectile dysfunction. These implants allow them to control when they get an erection and for how long. So yes, some methods exist, but what you see on screen is not real life. Real sex is intimate, human, and definitely not shot in 4K under stage lighting. Please don't measure yourself against that. It's neither fair nor healthy. Now for the third question. 
Sometimes when I pee, my stream splits in two or goes off to the side. What's causing that? Believe it or not, this is very common and there are several possible reasons. Think of your urethra like a hose. If the opening is clear, the stream flows straight. But if there's any blockage, like dried semen, inflammation, or narrowing from the prostate, it can disrupt the stream and cause it to spray. After ejaculation, some semen may linger in the urethra, creating temporary resistance that causes split streams for a couple urinations afterward. That's normal. Other causes could include benign prostatic hyperplasia, or BPH, an enlarged prostate that squeezes the urethra, or, in rare cases, a urethral stricture, which is a narrowing of the urethral tube itself. If you're also noticing a weak stream, difficulty starting, straining, or stop-and-go flow, it's definitely worth seeing a urologist. These may point to BPH or another treatable condition. In the meantime, you can even try sitting down to urinate. In many countries like Germany, this is common, and it can help manage stream direction comfortably. So to sum up, losing your erection during sex is common and fixable. The adult industry is not real life, and comparing yourself to it will only hurt you. A split stream when urinating usually has a harmless cause, but should be checked if it's persistent or bothersome. And if you want to support your prostate health with our science-backed supplement combining saw palmetto, pygium, green tea, cat's claw, raspberry, and soursop, this powerful blend helps maintain urinary health, reduce inflammation, and boost immunity all in one daily dose. You'll find the link in the description to try it today. And if you want more real questions like these answered, consider joining my premium membership where I respond to subscriber questions in exclusive monthly episodes. You'll also get early access to all episodes, transcripts, and ad-free content. Your health deserves clarity, not confusion or shame. If this video helped you, please do two things. First, hit the like button and subscribe for more science-backed men's health advice. No fluff, no judgment. Second, share this video with someone who needs it. And in the comments, tell me one healthy habit you're starting this week to support your health. Remember, your health is your responsibility. And taking action is one of the most powerful choices you can make. And as always, take care of yourself. Because you are absolutely worth it.